No one was injured in a Waverly fire caused by a lightning storm on May 12th, thanks to quick thinking by a next door neighbor. All right, so um, can you kind of tell me a little bit about what happened last night in terms of were you home at the time or what time was it? It was uh, just after seven o'clock and um, there was a pretty large storm moving through. Okay. And uh, we were having dessert and there was a very loud clap of thunder, big strike mm -hmm. of lightning, uh, so large that we thought it hit our house. Right. Uh, it sounded like a shotgun blast inside the, the house. Um, but we didn't lose power or anything, so okay. my assumption was that we didn't get hit. Yeah. But we started looking out the windows uh, at the trees to see if any of mm -hmm. them had been hit. Um, and uh, after a few minutes, I was standing up here at the front window, just kind of looking out, and the, the rain had um, really let up. But it looked like there was uh, heavy streaking rain right okay. out in front of the neighbor's house. Right. And so I watched it and I said to Melissa, I said, does that look like smoke? Mm -hmm. And uh, she looks and she's like, eh, I think maybe. And so uh, the boys and I got in my car and just mm -hmm. backed out of the garage. Right. Uh, so we didn't wouldn't have to get wet and we were gonna see if there were some trees uh, that were burning. Um, and I could see smoke coming off the roof oh, okay. uh, of Kevin and Janelle's uh, home that they're building. And so, uh, I told the boys to come back inside and I went over and all I could see was smoke. Uh, couldn't see any actual flames or anything. Mm -hmm. um, so I went into the house and just looked up to see if I could see anything and I couldn't. Um, so I came out, went over to uh, the trailer there that Kevin right. and Janelle are living in and tried to see if anybody was home. There wasn't. When I came back up front, I could see the flames on the side of the door. Okay. And what was kind of your reaction to that? Kind of well, instantly, I yelled to Melissa, you know? She was standing outside here. I said, "Kevin and Janelle's house is on fire." Okay. So she came in and called nine one one, and within two or three minutes, uh, the first police cruiser was here. Right. Um, so I kind of filled them in, let them know that I had already checked the house and the trailer, and that nobody was home or in. And, okay. Um, in less than probably 10 minutes, the, oh. the firefighters were here. Um, yeah, at first when, when I, I said, uh, when we were in the car and I said, Kevin and Janelle's house is on fire, you know, they were mm -hmm. uh, kind of scared by oh, okay. the whole scenario. I mean, as young as they were. Right. But uh, they, they recovered well and then it was pretty exciting with all the fire trucks and uh, yeah, the police cruisers here for them. Okay. I'm sure your kids want to be firefighters, <laughs> know, but, but, and then, um, yeah, so, I mean, that must have been something, and so did you kind of get back inside your house once the police and fire department Actually, came? Actually, most or? of the time I stayed uh, out there, um, I waited for the Kevin and Janelle to get home, mm -hmm. um, I filled them in, uh, and let them know that, you know, it had been fairly well contained, wasn't too bad, and, right. um, so we did that until... Uh, the firefighters were getting finished up, and I ran back here, and we got some tarps and mm -hmm. uh, um, hammer and nails, okay. and then uh, a couple other guys who were over there um, uh, helped. We sealed uh -huh. up the the roof and the, right. the wall so that there wouldn't be any more water damage from the rain. Right. Yeah. We think it's what any neighbor would probably want to do. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, makes sense. And then. Um, Kind of today, your kids are back at school with a story to tell. Yep, so. yep. They're pretty excited to be able to go in and tell their friends. Um, they have a couple of friends who live in the addition uh, up above here. That oh, okay. The moms called uh, right after the fire trucks uh, started showing up. Wanted right. To know what was going on, and so the boys are pretty excited to to be able mm -hmm. and, and to go to school today and tell their stories. Right. Um, are you guys close at all as neighbors? Do you oh, yeah. chat a bunch, or Very much I'm so. sure. We, yep. Um, it's a great relationship as far as uh, with neighbors like that. Um, we interact quite a bit. And, mm -hmm. uh, anytime you need help on something, or, right? Uh, we, we can rely on that. So again, okay. that's why I said it's not anything above and beyond what I would expect right. uh, with our relationship. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. Reporting for Waverly Newspapers. This is Adam Greenwald.